Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic drop-down list in Google Sheets. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, we have these categories here, fruits. If we select fruits, you should just give us apples, oranges, grapes, and tomatoes. And if we select categories here in vegetables, it should just give us these vegetables, celery, lettuce, kale, and carrots. So like if I selected fruits in the secondary drop-down here, all I get are these four fruits. And if I select on vegetables, all I should get are these four vegetables. It's actually quite easy to do, and I'll show you how. Here I'm in the new worksheet, and I've got my columns laid out. We have our products here, which these are my category ones, and my category twos are this. We have our fruits here, and then our vegetables here. So the first thing we need to do is make these ranges give them names. So we make named ranges for these. So under here, I'm going to select these two items. These are the products. These will be fruits and these will be called vegetables. So I'll select E2 to E3, right click, and then go under define name range. We're going to call this products. Right, and so that's E2 to E3, click done. And since I'm in this name range navigation window, I'm going to add another range. And this other range, these are going to be called fruits. And select my range. It's going to be F2 to F5. Click OK. You can see that that's added there. Click Done. Now that's added there, fruits, products. Now I need to also add vegetables range. Add that range there. We'll call this vegetables. And this is going to be from G2 to G5. Click OK. Click Done and we have our name ranges. So basically, when you type this name in, it's gonna select F2 to F5, products F E2 to E3, vegetables G2 to G5. I'll leave this open, and we are going to do our category dropdown. So I'll do category one, tab, category two. And here, this is where we're gonna use something called data validation. Now I can right click this and go to data validation, which is down here at the bottom. And we're gonna use a list from a range. And so we had the name products. So I'm gonna use products here, type products, and we're gonna reject input. So we don't want anything else in there that we type. Anything that else gets typed, we're gonna reject that. Click save, and now we have a drop down. right? We have fruits or vegetables. Now we want to have a dynamic where when we select fruits, it will just give us that. In this cell, you might think that we can do something similar and reference fruits here and it'll bring that out. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way in Google Sheets. We would have to create kind of a helper column to help us look at that selection there. So here, I'm going to create a helper column here. And in this helper column, we're going to use a function called indirect. And we're going to click indirect, and we're just going to reference this A2. Here I can just reference cell A2 because I'm on the same sheet here. I'll just reference that. Close parentheses, press enter. And now we have our apples, oranges, grapes, and tomatoes. If I chose vegetables, you can see it changes here. Now the key here is to kind of reference this particular set of cells now for category 2. So right click in here, category 2. Go under data validation. And we're going to select our range here. And so I'll select from D2 to D5, because I only have four. When, when, when I look at this, I only have four. But in the future, if you had a situation where you were going to expand this, there were more, then probably a good idea would be to select a more and wider range, maybe from D2 to, I don't know, D12. We'll do that for now. It's fine. Click OK. And we're going to do the same thing, reject input, click save. And now when I select vegetables, this should just give me the vegetable celery here because it's picked it up from this range here, right? Or if I go back and click fruits, it's going to give me an error there. And if I click the drop down, it's going to bring back the correct items for fruits. And so we can, if we had more than these two categories, three, four, and we wanted to do additional uh, categories here, we would have to have additional helper cells, helper columns. And it'll be for those specific categories. So that's how you can create 
a dynamic drop down in Google Sheets. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.